So my devotional life has been really shifted. So this morning, my devotional life, um, God's been speaking to me this whole week. We had prayer week, and God was really ministering to my heart about songs of the Lord that he's been giving me. And with this 40-day challenge that Pastor Art has given us, it's been super powerful and impactful on my life because before he gave us a 40-day challenge, um, another pastor who's a mentor in my life told me to commit to doing 40 days of devotions. And I already had a devotional life, but I want to be honest, it wasn't a deep one. It wasn't one with depth, and it wasn't one where you could really dive in. It, it was one that was super shallow. I did the typical things, reading, memorizing the verse, all of that. I got enough of the word where I would have days the Spirit of God would would pour into me and I would think, oh, that's good enough for the rest of the year. You know, that's good enough for the rest of the month. And I would have days where I would cry, but it wouldn't be constant. But when I came back from Mexico, I wanted a constant encounter with this presence. And my friend said it like this to me, my friend Nadia, she said, Lexi, it's like, she prophesied over me. And that was in my devotion. She said, someone, it's like they, they came up to you, you're like a faucet and you were in a garden and they came up to you and they covered you and they twisted you with the screw because with the screw you get it really tight and they twisted you all the way to the right to shut you up, to shut you down, to stop your flow. But God came as he unraveled you and he um, got that same screw that the devil used to screw on tightly and unscrewed it and, and you went absolute left. And what happens is before when you screwed it, there were like drips of water. So there would be little like encounters with God here and there, drip, drip, drip. But as God, I saw God started to unscrew my life completely to the left to undo me, to unthread me. My, my worship, my devotion, everything just exploded. And it was like a burst of water. And I believe that sometimes that can happen to people is we somebody lies to us the enemy lies to us through somebody and he tries to shut us up and turn us off completely and screw us oh screw us tightly shut completely right but God desires for us to be completely open flowing and in this garden I, I saw a vision that God was showing me a garden as he was undoing the screw the water bursted and healed all of the dead crops, all of the dead land. Everything that was dead, even things that I didn't know about, started to reap fruit and, and become green and be, and be well, and it was powerful. So that was a little bit of my devotional. It's been my devotional life, but that's what I was writing in my devotions this morning. It, it was personal and, and also just wonderful because what God is doing in me, He can do in you. A 40-day challenge, you know, a growth challenge to grow in Him. And sometimes growing in Him doesn't necessarily mean it's going to feel good because it feels uncomfortable to grow. Uh, it, it sometimes can be embarrassing, but as you open yourself up to God, it's like He has you alone and He's the only one looking at you and you're looking at Him. It's past beyond not caring what people think. It's in a place where you don't even know anyone who's looking at you. That's where God wants to take you. You don't even know anyone who's looking at you. You're just enjoying His presence. And along the way, enjoying His presence, you're learning as you go and you're growing in God. So I hope this ministered to you guys. I hope you hear my heart and you understand. I love you all and I pray that this ministered to you. Have a great day.